My paper up there, things are going. Man, I run from police for no movement there and can't turn over. A joke thing, this watch it. See, dog, now I back I van there. See, care, brother. Bumbo clean. Blessed good night to all of my viewers, all of my subscribers, them. Yeah, right back again. JNN News Channel is here with another breaking update, my viewers. I'm sub. And now for the nightly news, let us get into it. Portmore Fire, mother leaves young one in house to attend illegal party. Jano, my viewers, I'm sub. Before we get into that one here, what kind of madness are going on in Jamaica, my viewers, I'm sub. Mother, I leave. Them youth in a house alone for got illegal party. Me not understand this right now. We make a year wait I say before we get into details. Team of firefighters was called to extinguish a blaze that destroyed a section of a house in Waterford, Portmore, St. Catherine. On Saturday, reports are that while firefighting to bring the fire under control, it was found that a mother had left her four month old young one in the house to attend an illegal party that was taking place at 1 a.m. during curfew hours. You see all of them something I was going in a Jamaica, my viewers, I'm so. All this I'm there right now, you know, my viewers, forget lack you know, and throw in the farest part in a cell, you know, man, one deep, deep, deep cell, you know. What kind of wicked mama like this, man? Jan my viewers and what's up. Leave on a thoughts on the comment in the comment section on the feel for really go on for that mother. Yeah. What kind of prosecution on the thing for lay against this mother? Yeah. Sources report that while firefighters were battling to put out the blaze, they heard music blaring away at a party. The wee hours of the morning, another source from the first responder team said. While officials were at the location trying to bring the fire under control, a woman was seen running towards the blazing house crying out that her child was in the house. The fire responded would later disclose the development on his social media page. The young one was removed from the building and was unarmed. Police have not yet disclosed the end result of their investigation into the matter. Right now, I just one investigation right now. Me I pull off on that one. One investigation because the mother is wicked. But when I make one of the viewers them leave on the arguing comments in the comment section. Make one know what I go on. Vendor shot dead in broad daylight attack in Trelawney. A Trelawney vendor was shot and taken out by unknown assailants in a broad daylight gun attack in Falmouth, Trelawney on Saturday. The deceased have been identified as 34-year-old vendor Kevled Reed, Wall Street race course in Falmouth, Trelawney. Reports are that about midday, police were called after several gunshots were heard coming from a section of George's Street, Falmouth. Upon their arrival, the police saw Reed lying along the roadway suffering from what appears to be a lot of corn wounds. He was taken to the Falmouth Hospital where he was pronounced. The Falmouth police is still investigating the matter at this point. So right now, my viewers, I'm a sub. Crazy, crazy sat there. Crazy, man. I be a craziness I go on, my viewers, I'm a sub. It's like crazy is... There are not much word to say when it come on to being crazy right now, my viewers and myself. So. Edna Manley College awaiting fire damage assessment. The administration at the Edna Manley College of Visual Arts Performing Arts says it is awaiting to ascertain the cause of today's fire and the extent of the damage. The institution say a section of the School of Visual Arts and the Hope Brooks Painting Studio caught fire earlier that morning. There are three units from the Jamaica Fire Brigade responded 
and the fire has been extinguished. All students and staff are safe. The college note, the institution say it is grateful for the cause of concern from stakeholders, well wishers and the arts community. Patricia Green Road Woes and Development who is responsible. <coughs> Sweet relief as Garden Town Road brand new was the headline in the news. On September the 13th about its reopening, many congratulations to all who work assist to make this happen. Was this record time? There is much good that still abounds. And this road construction project should be celebrated. This good news come, however, aim cautious cries out woes over roads connecting to high-rise building development and highway development. Clearmore Drive made news on television and radio after tropical storm grace passed on August 17. It's nearly retained roadway collapse exposing re recently laid sewage lines after various filing attempts. Rain would sewer its exposed gripping potholes. PM not ruling out Vibes Cartel as Vox Ambassador. The incarcerated dancer DJ Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer may have a role to play in the government's pro-vaccination campaign. Addressing a query by the news about Palmer's recruitment in promoting the COVID-19 job, Prime Minister Andrew Olness did not rule out the entertainer possible involving him in a role in Jamaican in a national emergency such as this pandemic. We in the government of Jamaica would entitle the support of all well-thinking citizens in encouraging person to take the vaccine, Olney said, following a stop at the Caribbean Palms Community Center in the St. Andrew Southwestern, where a Ministry of Health and Wellness vaccination bliss was being conducted on Friday. Some of you as I'm a sub right now they might try to get vibes cartel to promote that thing so we don't know let us hear what the authorities have to say about that one we don't want to jump in no conclusion or anything so let us hear what happened along the line my viewers are my sub so anyway continue to like share and subscribe leave your thoughts and your comment in the comment section leave your honest opinion and any updates or any news item that we have mentioned in this upload so all of my law-abiding citizens, hit that subscribe button, leave a notification.